Hello, welcome to chapter 5, lesson 8. We're on page 577, doing least common multiple. So, last time we did factors, and this time we're doing multiples. Factors and multiples, we're going to see some similarities in some of the steps, so sometimes it may get a little confusing. So here it says a multiple of a number is a product of the number in any whole number. We'll go over that in a minute. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Multiples that are shared by two or more numbers are common multiples. The least common multiple is the least multiple other than zero common to the sets of its multiples. So this is Tom hits golf balls at the driving range every three days, practices putting every four days, and goes golfing every six days. If he did all three activities today, in how many days would he do all the three activities again? So find the least common multiple. So I'm gonna take the multiples of three, so I have 3 is my first multiple, because 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 4 is 12, and 3 times 5 is 15. So with 4, I have 4 times 1 is 1, sorry, 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, and if you also notice, I'm, in, I'm just increasing by 4. Just like above, I'm just increasing by 3. So I have 6, increase by 12, 18, 24, 30. So if I look at my common multiples between all three numbers, I see that I have 12 as my common multiples. So Tom will complete all three activities again in 12 days. So if I look using a number line, the next time all of them meet is on the 12th day. So the other example is example two, and this is using prime factorization to find the least common multiple, which is not always the easiest method. So first we're gonna take the prime factorization. So 15 is three times five. Three times five are both prime numbers. Next we have four times 10, and then 4 is going to be split up with 2 times 2, and 10 is going to be split up with 2 times 5. Now I have to find the common prime factors. So this is 2, 2, 2, and 5. So my only common prime factor is 5. That's my only common one. Find the product of the prime factors using, using each common prime factor only once in any remaining factors. So these are my common ones. So my common one, I'm going to use once. Now, I just need to use the remaining factors. So I still have a 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. These are all my remaining factors. So 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, times 3 is 24, and then times 5 is, I think is it 120? 24 times 5. Yes, 120. So this is example 2. I prefer example 1. is a little easier to remember. But go ahead and try the guide of practice, number 1 and number 2. So if I do the multiples of 6, I get... I'm going to go up to 30, so 10, 20, 30. I have a com now my 30 is a common, so my least common multiple is 30. 3 and 4, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 4. We already did 3 and 4 in the example, so this, sh this should be easy. And so our least common multiples here is going to be 12. And that's the end of the video, so thank you for watching.